there we go. What's up, guys? Uh, We've done it. I'm going to make sure that we're actually audible. We are. They can hear us. They should be. They should be able to hear us. Tell us okay. what you can. Woo! But, what's up, guys? Uh, this is our first video that we're doing for all the donation goals that we're way behind on. It's about time, right? But, the good news is we're actually doing them. And, yes. as I said, what we're doing tonight is I've got... All of these Pennsylvania, this one's actually, this is local, this is really local. Is it? This is from Root Down. No way! Root Down's right there. Um, nice. Well, so, that's fun. what we're doing tonight is three cocktails that I thought up that were going to be, uh, initially it was Wendussie themed, but I could not think of three Wendussie themed cocktails, yeah. so we went with more of a Lore Lodge theme for it. Yeah. So, uh, what that yeah. means is lots of bourbon. Do we have fun names? We, uh, we don't have fun names. I thought it would be fun to let... Uh, so you guys get to vote on exactly. names. Exactly. I thought it would be fun to let the audience name them as they learn what's in them. I love um, it. They're very simple in terms of like their actual composition, so what we're going to do is we're going to have one that's going to be a uh, raspberry blackberry, so a mixed berry old-fashioned with an apple garnish. Um, we've got a cinnamon bourbon cream okay. with a homemade cinnamon syrup that I made earlier today. Nice. And then, we've got a bomb. I don't know what to call it. Um, well, it could But be. it's going to be, this is a coffee stout from Root Down Brewing Company. Yes. Um, and we are going to dunk some of this into that. And I'm going to, to make mine a true bomb, I'm going to do half and half of the shot on that. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, they can come, you guys can come up with a bit of the names, and we'll choose one. Yeah. Super chat them. Super Even chat. if it's just like two bucks. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know what the minimum super chat is. It's, it's going to be very hard to follow the chat yeah, this evening. We're not going to be able to follow chat because we're going to be over here doing stuff. If you want to manage that, that's not yes. going to be primarily also, making drinks. Just, uh, oh yeah, we've got charcuterie. We have charcuterie. I like um, the cheese. I got yeah. really excited. I thought this was the cheese that I've been trying to figure out what cheese it is for ages because it looks a lot like it. Oh, sorry. It oh, looks God. a lot like it. But it's too, it doesn't crumble in your mouth. It's too soft. So I'm trying to figure out, figure out what that is. If you know what it is, let me know. Um, also, we have water because we're going to be responsible. Cheers. Grab a drink, and by a drink, I mean this. Wait, no, we can't. What? It's bad luck to cheers water. Really? Yep, apparently. Right. So don't cheers water. Uh, anyway. The second this touched my lips, I realized I haven't had any water today. Moving on. Uh, yes, please do that. Uh, <laughs> so the question is, I think, uh, what, what do we want to start with here? Uh, you know what? The old fashioned sounds. The old fashioned like a good, sounds like a good starting start. point. Yeah. All right, that's the one that requires the most work, honestly. So. Fair. All right. Um, they're not gonna be able to see me doing anything with all these bottles. Oh, we'll move them out of the way so that way we get a prime picture. Yeah. And the fun part of this is you're gonna get to learn how to make all these cocktails. Now, I will say, um, I do get some flack from bartenders for the way I make old fashions. I was not trained at a bar. I was trained by my family. No. Um, Why did they give you flack? Uh, just because I include or don't include gre ingredients, kind of at will. Um, but I think that it is, tastes good. So you make old fashions essentially the Italian way. Yes. Got it. <laughs> as, as would be expected. But old fashioned, really simple. Simple syrup. Okay. Bourbon. We chose a Pennsylvania bourbon. And while that is technically sacrilegious because bourbon, by definition, has to be stored in rotating barrels in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. um, the way that this works, and I know this because uh, this is uh, Revivalist Spirits, it's a local um, distillery, and what they do is they import their barrels. Mm -hmm. So all of, all of this, I don't know about now, but uh, about five-ish years ago when they started, when they first uh, started production of bourbon, what they did was they had it originally made in Kentucky. Okay. So they had it distilled in Kentucky, aged in Kentucky, mm -hmm. and then they brought it here. Then, following that, yep. they used the same barrels. Aha! So the barrels are Fun true bourbon barrels. Nice. And if I remember correctly, some, some they did one with like rum casks that was pretty cool. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so I need a cutting board that is not the Pennsylvania cutting board. You do so have one, one of these. Yeah, and I have to shout out as a thank you to uh, my mom and her business, Studio Flora. If you are in the uh, southeastern Pennsylvania, uh, I don't know, maybe, sh maybe western New Jersey and Delaware area, uh, and you're getting married or you just want to get flowers for somebody, uh, check out StudioFlora.com. You know, they're, uh, they're pretty cool, and my, my mom's a nice lady. Uh, and the spread, itself, for sure. the spread itself is from Culinary Harvest, which is an online farmer's market based out of southeastern Pennsylvania. Mm. 
Um, We're so going full local tonight. The, the, the whole point here for tonight was I was like, all right, how local can I possibly get? You know? I love it. I love it. Um, I'm curious about this bourbon because I haven't. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I've had it before, but I haven't. It's all small batch, so. But what was oh, I looking for? Oh, oh, sorry. Well, Did you look at the horsepower on this baby? Yeah. 104 proof. This is 52 <laughs> horsepower, ladies and gentlemen. Also, if you are uh, over the legal drinking age in the United States of America, uh, Revivalist Spirits is a they deliver nationwide mm -hmm. now. Uh, so if you click on the link in the description for this specific one, it is the uh, Resurgent Bourbon Whiskey. Um, then you can actually go to their website and you can order. And we have a link set up that's going to let us know exactly how many people do that. And we want to use that because this video is actually not sponsored by any of these companies. This is just us doing this, and we are totally open to a partnership with them in the yeah. future. Especially because we both love whiskey. Yes. Um, I'm a big fan. A big, big fan. It's hard not to. It's just, it's just, it's great. It's so good. It's um, great. So, we're going to start, then, with the old-fashioned. And Aiden, if you want to entertain them for a second while I sure. try to peel the sticker off. So, uh, the reason why I was so astounded by looking at the bottle and seeing that it's a 52% alcohol is because most whiskey's not that powerful. It's about forty percent usually. Yeah, it's like thirty-five to forty. Like forty or fifty-two percent. Yes. So this is this is strong as whiskey goes, yes. uh, and that's why I'm very curious to see how this is going to taste, even just how it's going to smell. When well, we open it up. I mean, you might as well if you grab a uh, hang on. Is it? Oh, Grab please it. tell me it's cork. What? Yeah. Sure. Ooh, this is a little bit of toasty glass. I don't want to use that. Yeah, um, less than ideal. But what I do have in here is Icy Rocks glasses. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, and I can do you one better. I know you like the whiskey neat because you don't like diluted. Correct. Let's grab it. Specifically. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we're talking. A few whiskey stones with American flags on them. We love that. <laughs> All right, let's give this a whiff. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. It's not It's not like medicinal or out like like... You know, rubbing alcoholish at all. It's like yeah. actually good. Yeah, it's good stuff. Which is rare for something that has this amount of alcohol in it. But with bourbon, if it's a good bourbon, yeah. But yeah, that's fair. So usually, traditionally, an old fashioned is made with uh, maraschino cherries, um, but the the real kind, not yeah. the you know five dollar kind you get at Acme. Yeah. But it's made with maraschino cherries, bitters, and an orange garnish. Mm -hmm. But since we're going for more of an Appalachian theme here, because mm -hmm. obviously the Lore Lodge kind of takes its uh, you know, some of its roots from the region in which we've grown up, this, sure. which is in the foothills, yeah. essentially, of that, that mountain range, we decided to go for some, uh, some, some stuff that's more local to the region, which, in this case, berries, like raspberries and blackberries, which mm -hmm. I have right here, and apples. And when we say local, like, quite literally, Valley Forge National Park, which is less than five minutes yes. away from here, in the summer, Wild raspberries grow, mm -hmm. and you can just walk along the trails and pick them and eat them. It's delicious. I have done that many a time. Well, it's got wine berries out here. Oh, do we really? Yeah, we do. Oh, so, nice. what I'm going to do, and the way I'm going to do this for the show, afterwards we might indulge a little bit, mm -hmm. but for the show, I'm going to make one batch, and then we're going to taste test it. Cool. Um, so, I'm going to put a few blackberries in there, and put three raspberries in. Count. Okay. I can confirm. Are my numbers correct? There are, in fact, six berries of two different types, three exactly. each in that glass. And you might think that when you muddle your fruit for an old-fashioned, which, yes, that is the next step, that you just squish it around itself. No. You take a tiny bit. Can you hand me the jigger? Mm -hmm. This? Yeah, that guy. Okay. Yes, that is the term. <laughs> I usually take about one shot, about 50 milliliters, dunk that in. Mm -hmm. Then... I don't have a muddler. I left it at my parents' place. But I think you just get in here and you kind of squish the berries around. This is not good technique. This is not good form. If anyone's a bartender watching this, I know. <laughs> uh, somebody did say... What, do we have a suggested name? We have a suggested name, just making sure we didn't miss any other ones. And the suggested name comes from Queen Rebecca Felgate 3 for $2. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you. It says, you guys got to name one Woodland Whistle. Ooh. I like that. That's what we call this one, honestly. Good. So, get your fruits all nice and muddled. Can't really see it that well, but basically what we've got in here is a bunch of squished raspberries and blackberries. Mm -hmm. Then, this guy. 
which is the simple syrup. This is the simple syrup. You could measure this out. I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> He's Italian. I'm going to give it a single squirt of simple syrup. Yep. I like my old fashions a bit on the uh, less sweet side. Yep, he goes and off then with instinct. You go and you mix it again. Get everything nice and properly. Oh my god, I bent this spoon considerably. <laughs> Ooh. That's, That's a lot of flavor and scent. Yeah, it smells so good. I love it. So, going to let that sit for a second. Mm -hmm. And then. I do. Did you try it yet? Not yet. Yeah. I figured we were gonna use that glass for that. No, no, no. I've got other glasses for this, so I'm gonna give you it's a nice little. There we that go. might even be 25 milliliters. I think you might be right. Yeah. That's a, that's a little one, but mix it around. Get it mix it around. stuff right oh yeah not quite as smooth as if you're gonna go for like a 40 percent no it's it's definitely it's definitely got bite with with this i personally do prefer over ice yeah and i like you, to you let it sit for like five meat. minutes yeah you yeah. shouldn't drink that meat which you are thankfully gonna, is what we're going to be doing you arguably should cut that with water to enhance the flavor yes which is if those of you who may not be uh, accustomed to whiskey whether it be scotch or bourbon rye anything like that Higher percentage alcohol content whiskeys, you're actually supposed to mix in water yeah. if you're looking to experience the flavors as mm -hmm. intensely as you'd like. If you ever go to a liquor store and you get yourself a bottle of, uh, if it says cask strength, cut you it. are supposed to cut that. Yes. Also, shout out to uh, Cutco for supplying me with these free knives that I got for selling Cutco. There you go. Um, what is that text from? Uh, a mother. What's it say? Uh, talk up the pickle harvest party mix from <laughs> The pickle harvest party mix. Yes, my mother brought me uh, some pickled goods right here. Um, I don't really know what's in here entirely, but it looks like some cantaloupe. There's definitely pickles in here. Some blueberries. You ever have pickled mango? No, but I want to now. I think I've got some in there. I'll let you try it. But uh, interesting, certainly interesting. So you know, I'm realizing it's definitely a good thing we started with the old fashioned because if we had been having anything and yeah. then we're cutting with things, that's not a good example. Yeah, so definitely <laughs> unintentionally safe. Yeah, definitely for sure. We love that. So I probably could have cored this, but I uh, didn't. So. It is a saying for five dollars. Do what people with fancy restaurants do. Name a menu item after your child. Archie gets a signature drink. <laughs> I feel like Archie. Not a terrible idea, drink. honestly. Archie's problem. I feel like has to be uh, the like the main element of it would be the cream, so that way it's the same color as him. True, you do be creamy colored. So, but I don't know of a drink that would be consisting of mainly that. Uh, unless you're just doing a straight cream. I don't know. But yeah, but then it's not a drink. You're just drinking whatever they've made. That's very true. Uh, let's think. <laughs> the bomb could be an Archie bomb. That's true. It could be an Archie bomb. It's an Archie bomb. But it has to be. It has to be. Because yes. what's his full name? Archibald. Ah, yeah. Well, I, if it was Archie bomb, I would have been like, oh, Archibald, Archie bomb, close enough. I'm gonna garnish this with a nice slice. That. Very perfect. And as you can see, these are in the freezer, but nice and frosty. Oh, yes. So, now that's sat for a hot second. Um, also, before I put that on, I should probably put ice in it. That would help. Um, oh, God. Who's that? It's the same message from your mom just coming oh, in okay. later. That one's not. Uh, there's more in the fridge. It's called Pickle Party Mix from the Fishtown Pickle Project in Philly. Well, you heard it here. It is called Pickle Party Mix from... What? The Fishtown Pickle Project in Philly. Fishtown Pickle Project. There's a lot of sounds. That, that sounds like the name of like an indie band. It does. The Fishtown Pickle Project? It does. 100%. Is, that, our, is, that, that. is that the new band name? <laughs> That's what we are going to be. There we go. So, garnish with an apple. There we go. Then. Now, I've done this in multiple ways. I've had it where it's poured... You pour the fruit in before the ice. I've had it where you put the whole fruit in half of the ice. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna do it again, do it my way. Oh, I almost forgot. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Bitters. Ah, uh, there we go. I would imagine that you would strain out the fruit bits. No. Really? 
Fruit bits are part of my favorite part of it. Interesting. So, uh, usually, for an old-fashioned, you use orange bitters and aromatic bitters. Yep. Uh, because we're going for a berry theme here, this is a cherry bitters. Nice. And this is a standard aromatic. I use Fee Brothers because I like them. That is a good reason to do that. Just give it a couple splashes of each. Give it another stir. And grab the jigger. My shaky caffeine addled hands. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Where's our top yeah. this guy? I also did that lefty. Go me. Impressive. So, Aiden, if you will. Um, oh, yeah, that's a lot of flavor. It doesn't smell good. It does smell great. And then. Voila. I'm going to give it another single shot because I like them strong, personally. Valid. And then you finish that off. Can you hand me the water? Yes, sir. Top it off with better with spring, but a little splash of filter. Doesn't hurt. Really depends on what you're up to. Stir it. Mix it around with the ice. And there we have our first drink of the night, which is an old fashioned with a bit of a bit of an Appalachian twist on it. I like it. Right? I think it's very pretty. We get closer to the camera. Pretty indeed. Can you tell me is this in frame? Uh, that is, you can get way closer than that to make it look real pretty. There you go. Oh. That's it. You are full framing it right now. Nice. So uh, I'll let you do the hours. Thank you very much, sir. So yeah, you're definitely. You're definitely getting a very strong element of the of the berries uh, and a, a little bit of the hint of the bitters and not not a whole ton of the bourbon because the, the berries are so yeah. like prevalent. I put a lot of berries in there. Yeah, it's a good thing. So let's give it a sip. Did I do a good job? You did very <laughs> well because it's a good balance. I mean, it's definitely. That extra shot put it a little bit more on the stronger side, but obviously yeah, I figured it was going to be a little weak. I didn't. Yeah, much more tame than obviously the thing on its own, but you still taste it while getting a lot of the really nice flavors of the berries. The sweetness still remains, and it balances out the strength of the 52%. Please have a sip. All right. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I can imagine. Oh, dude, I kicked ass with this. <laughs> this is honestly probably the best one I've ever made. Really. Yeah. Well, and you have more old fashions than I do, so you yeah. know better what you're this looking is, for. If somebody handed me this at a restaurant, mm. I would be very happy. I will be a happy man. Um, so, I think what we should do is we should probably cut each of these and make them their own video after we're done yeah, with them. Yeah, that's good. Um, but yeah, so, now that we have this, now that you've all seen it, um, I'm going to probably sample this throughout the rest of the evening. This is going to be my drink. Go for it. Because I know you don't want to get too uh, over the line. Mm -hmm. But... If y'all would like to uh, give us your ideas for names for this, um, because these are going to go on our website mm -hmm. and on Patreon in terms of the recipes, and uh, if we pick your name, then we'll uh, we'll toss you some credit. Yeah. We'll say uh, named by. Yeah. So uh, I do want to read through a little bit and see what we've uh, give a we've got for uh, chats. I have a feeling Mattis is a giggly drunk. Um. I, guess. I, I don't think my personality changes all that Not much. Not really. To be honest with you, it's so the the, the scary thing <laughs> is that uh, both of us, for the most part, obviously there's exceptions to the rule. Uh, when we are absolutely trashed, we still appear sober a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, just to answer really quick, Captain Alien asked, "So where do I get this whiskey again?" Uh, if you go and look at the description of this video, there's a uh, line in it that says. Um, Resurgent bourbon whiskey, I think. Um, if you just click the bit.ly there, that link, that'll take you straight to the overall website for Revivalist. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, then it might uh, might help us convince them that we can be a helpful partner to them in sales. And again, and right. they ship nationally. Uh, as for Liberty Pole, I don't know if they ship nationally, and I know Root Down doesn't, but you're going to be fine with any of these. Mm -hmm. uh, I do recommend. If you've got a local distiller, if you've got a local brewery, 
go use their stuff, not just because it's probably going to be better than what you get at the grocery store or at the mm-hmm. liquor store, but it's also going to support a local business. Yep. They're gonna, it's going to mean a lot to them. Um, so just, you know, if you can help, do it. And to quickly go over the ingredients from this again, obviously our bourbon. Now, I will say, uh, if you like your drinks a little bit on the um, less on the sweet side, yep. if you use a rye instead of a bourbon, mm-hmm. then you're going to get a much uh, you're going to get a lot more of the flavor of the berries and less of the flavor of the sweetness of the whiskey. Got it. Whiskey, if you didn't know, is actually supposed to be a sweet liquor. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not supposed to be overpoweringly sweet like Malibu yep. or something, but you are supposed to be able to sit there and drink it and enjoy that brown sugar taste yep. without it overpowering you. At least the American whiskeys. With scotch, you can Yeah, get... scotch is a different story yeah, entirely. Scotch, <laughs> scotch is still a whiskey. Uh, like, like bourbon and rye are both types of whiskey. Scotch is a type of whiskey, similar with Irish whiskey and things like that. With scotch, you have some fruity and sweet types of scotches, but there's also, you have peaty scotches, and you've got uh, things with a little bit more spice to them. It's just a matter of what part of Scotland it was uh, casked in, what elements were used in the cask, and uh, just generally what the distillery likes to use and create for their uh, palate. I wonder how this pairs with cheese. Pretty good. It's not like wine and cheese, but it's still pretty good. Try the meat. Mm, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so remind me, I'd say we do the car bombs last, yeah. and I will, I'll do that one, okay. because it's simple enough, I know how to do it. What was the second one? Uh, the second one, I'll get into a second, I just really quickly go to the ingredients, yeah. Do it again. Mm. So, for this, I used about three oh. shots of bourbon, three splashes of, is this the, this is the Old Fashioned Bitters, this is the Aromatic. This is part of what absolutely has to go in the Old Fashioned. You have to have Aromatic Bitters. Yep. Usually use orange. I used cherry for this one because we're going with a berry theme. So two or three splashes of this, two or three, spa- three splashes of this, a squirt of this. I put in three of these and three of these. Then we garnished with an apple slice, and honestly, it came out phenomenal. Yeah, I- um, I'm very impressed. This is this is so good. So the next one is going to be a little bit not complicated, but it's going to be uh, a little bit to put together. <laughs> so if you don't mind, in that. Have a call coming in. That's just tools. There we go. Doors uh-huh. open. Um, so, if you don't mind, in that uh, cupboard right there, I'm going to need the cinnamon sugar and the nutmeg. Ooh. Yep. Nutmeg and just this regular sugar in the wall? Uh, no, the cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar. And cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sugar's back there. Oh, cinnamon sugar. I see. Uh, you know what I found out recently? I had no idea that cinnamon was a form of tree bark. I did not know that either. I think we found that out together. We did, and yeah. it was very interesting. So, in this case, we go for that. Can you do me a quick favor and rinse this out? Yes. A good, good swish. This one's going to be a little bit easier. We're using Liberty Pole Spirits Bourbon Cream. Bourbon Cream is a liqueur that has, obviously, bourbon and cream. It's basically Irish cream made in the American sense. Yes. I prefer it. I think it's better. Interesting. Okay. Um, Look forward to it. So, and I'm going to give you a little taste first. What are those texts saying? Uh, she's asking what floor, I believe. Third floor. 23 or 2. I'll pour one out for her, too. What is it, 23 or 2? 23 or 2. Now, bourbon cream is very much a dessert drink. This is not what you want to start your night out drinking with. No. You don't really want to drink this with dinner. Unless you're but, unless you're doing what we're going to do with it later. Yeah. But if you're sitting there with a slice of cake, mm-hmm. good stuff. Yes. So, obviously, again, we got a rocks glass here. Very full of ice. You do not want to pour yourself eight ounces of this. You want like four ounces of this over ice. Um, so we're going to put that there. Wonderful. Got one for Jules. Ready? Are we just having this? Yeah, just, well, this I'm just going to let you taste it first. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. Well, there we go. Cheers. Uh, oh, Isn't that's that ridiculous? Nice. That's really nice. Oh, my God. It's so good. That's fantastic. It's so good. Um, Jules, you're here just, just in time. I'm here. Welcome. Oh, wait. Leave, wait, leave, leave those because we're going to need those for the Archer Bombs later. True. Oh, All right. Sounds good. Sounds Come good. back. We are, in fact, live. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. This is Jules. Uh, 
she's never had any of these, so. Yeah, no, I've never had anything. So yeah, I'm they can't see you over there. Um, but come here and try this on camera. Deal. Take Take and all of this is from uh, Pennsylvania. Is it really? Everything here is Pennsylvania, except for the like the very bitters. local. But yeah, okay, this right. is root down. But that's oh, I love root that's down. a bourbon cream. Try it. All right, bourbon cream. Yeah. Yes. Is it so good? Wow. It's like better than Bailey's. Yeah. It's so much better than Bailey's. Oh, wow. Liberty so. Pole. Okay, I get yep, it. Yep, they're from Washington. Lady Liberty. Washington, Pennsylvania. I was going to say Lady. Yeah. Yeah, but that confused me as well. Yeah. So. Also, hi, we've never met. Yeah. Hi, nice Jules to meet you. Other yes, I am, in fact, the other Aiden. The other Aiden. Take a single cinnamon stick. I'm going to toss this guy in here. There we go. Not that low, though. Come on. Sit somewhere. There we go. Make it nice and pretty. Um, and then. This is that homemade cinnamon syrup, which is literally just simple syrup with two teaspoons of cinnamon powder in it that I then put over uh, a burner for 20 minutes to distill. Have you ever done the cinnamon challenge? Uh, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't know, we might get demonetized for even mentioning that, honestly. <laughs> Well, there goes our paycheck. Uh, but at least Captain Elliot's giving us. Why did it look like that? that? It came out a little bit more viscous than I had intended. Uh, High viscosity cinnamon syrup. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, Captain Alien for 1999 said, Aiden, what whiskey am I buying off this site? You guys pick. Uh, okay, so it depends. If you, like I said, if you like your uh, your drinks a little bit less sweet, go with the uh, Resurgent Rye. Mm -hmm. which is going to be good for mixed whiskey drinks, uh, Old Fashioned, Manhattans, things like that. Yep. Um, if you want what we're using, this is the Young American Resurgent Bourbon Whiskey. That is a 52% alcohol by volume. Um, then I know there is also a... Uh, there's also two more on there. Both, both of them are fantastic. I've had all of their whiskeys. They're awesome. Um, this is my first time, and I can confirm yeah, it's, it's pretty damn it's good. It's so good. But literally any of those four... But the one we're using is the Young American. That's like what we are. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And then, uh -huh. Just gonna two shots of vodka. Well, so good. now we're making a drink with this Bailey's S. Yes. We'll be so doing two drinks with that. Yes, two drinks with this. Bourbon cream. That's crazy. So, a couple ounces of that. I feel like this is very Christmassy. Like this is something I would want. This is definitely more of a winter drink. Well, it is It is a winter wonderland outside. So True. It, we, it, it is no, no. March 12th, uh, 2022. Oh, it's also uh, it's my friend Caitlin's uh, birthday. Happy birthday, Caitlin. Oh, good point. Uh, the redhead one. Ah, yeah. Happy birthday. Caitlin, if you happen to be watching, happy birthday. Um, that one is nice and mixed up. But yeah, it works. Okay, guy. But I'm also using one size of glass, so I'm not too upset about it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Then. We're gonna need a third glass. Third. Yep. Yeah. This does not have its paper taken off. New cinnamon. This is not like. Oh, new not like. Yeah. Ooh, that smells good. Chefing it up over here. Yeah. I know. Look at it. Just a sprinkle. And then accidentally dumps the whole thing. Yep. <laughs> Lid falls off. It's ruined. <laughs> A sprinkle of that guy. As always, give your cocktail a stir. Do you know where the name cocktail comes from? Nope. I looked it up like a couple months ago because I was really curious. Uh, it has to do with a root in Mexico in which they used to stir drinks. And it was it roughly translated into English as cocktail, but it's a root of a plant that looks like the tail of a rooster, mm -hmm. and they would use it to stir drinks. And so when the English came over and they were like, what is it? And they explained what it was, they were like a cocktail. Yeah, so they took that like back. like a cocktail, like if they were to stir their drinks with like a cottontail, they yeah, would find over here. Yeah, that makes sense. But yes, yeah, so apparently it roughly translated to cocktail, and that's, it stayed that name. Has nothing to do with chickens. No. So yeah. we've got our cinnamon and nutmeg, very wintry drink. Um, I'm thinking we just call this one the Wendigo milk. The Wendigo yeah. Yeah, I think that's but the best name for it. I'm gonna let you uh, do the honors. This is the first time I've ever made this. Is it thick and creamy like a Wendigo? Ooh, I <laughs> would... Cinnamon not overpowering? I would drink this <laughs> sitting next to a fire, staring at my Christmas tree as the lights slowly become brighter and brighter. Is it? 
Well, it's like a, it's like Not an eggnog. Idea. It's like an eggnog on everything else but eggnog. Wow. So it's just cinnamon, cinnamon, and then this. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Yeah. So go over again what all was in it. Sure. So this one's pretty simple. I'm gonna put the other one out here too, so oh people can see. Also, help yourself with the charcuterie. Um, <laughs> yeah. So please do. Uh, oh, I'm putting the finished product yeah. over there. Pretty so nice touch. this one uh, that we just made, the Wendigo milk. That is actually super simple. It is. Hang on. But I didn't try this one. Like, I should have. Oh yeah. What is in it? So it's very. That's simple. an old it's, fashioned, but it's a mixed berry old fashioned. I've yes. wanted to try one of your old fashions, and here goes. Sir, okay, all right. Being an alcoholic in college paid off. <laughs> <laughs> See? This is what you get for a Penn State education. I mean, yeah, that's, that's uh, if Penn State teaches you anything, it should be that you know how to yeah. make drinks once you graduate. So, that one's very simple. That is, again, this is Liberty Pole, but use whatever local bourbon cream you want. Mm -hmm. Liberty Pole bourbon cream is about four ounces. This is ground cinnamon sugar that went on top, nutmeg that went on top, a cinnamon stick, for mostly for just show. And then this, uh, once I mixed it in, was not as high viscosity. Mm -hmm. um, this was literally uh, 50 milliliters of simple syrup, mm -hmm. 50 milliliters of water, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Nice. Just simple, toss that, simmered it for 20 minutes, poured it into a bottle, that cool. Cool. I Here think your simple syrup just broke it down thick. Uh, it could be that. I didn't home it. I did not make the simple syrup from scratch. Ooh. I usually do. This case, come on now. I didn't. <laughs> your mother says hi. Um, my oh. mother also says hi. Both our moms are here. Oh! <laughs> all Hi, Aiden's moms. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is it time for the bombs? Yes. I think it's time for the bombs. All right, I'll do uh, the bombs. Do you want to rinse out the, I mean, it's the same thing that's going to We don't, we, we, yeah, just, I'll keep the, those guys for what, for You, you, I will bombs. taste, actually, I guess I need to do the bomb to yes. taste the bomb. So, let's do the bomb. So put each of your things in proper yes. order, and I will do this. So uh, we're, we're taking this from inspiration of an Irish car bomb, which uh, if you ever go to Ireland, do not don't order. order that. <laughs> don't order because they will do, do not order an Irish car bomb in Ireland. They that will, is a very American thing. Uh, because it is the, <laughs> it is the equivalent of, uh, and they will do this in some places, they will pour you two shots, knock them over, and say, How, how's your Twin Towers? Oh! Uh, because that is what the equivalent of the Irish car bomb is in that society, as the Twin Towers is to us. Oh, so yeah. let's not be disrespectful. Don't order that if you go to Ireland. Um, we don't have a drink called. No, the there's a reason we don't. Yeah, okay. The same reason you don't order that in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, I would not want to have uh, a drink called Twin Towers. But uh, when you just say car bomb in the America or in Ireland, as you say, just don't order it in general. Don't um, order it in Ireland. That's just what a simple it is, explanation. What it is is uh, normally it's Irish, so it's Bailey's half Bailey's of sh uh, half shot of Bailey's, and it's half shot of Jameson into a Guinness. Uh, it's a great way to just like have a great day. And I guarantee you that there's a lot of people, including many friends of mine who are in Philly right now, that have had far too many of them this, yeah. this evening. So uh, we're Also, gonna... real quick, before we pour anything. Yes. This is a coffee stout. It is, for some reason they're calling it a milk stout, but. It's a coffee stout. It's a coffee stout. <laughs> um, it's called Space Chunk. I don't totally understand the naming conventions over at Root Down. I love their names. But their names yeah, great. their names are all kind of like that. <laughs> But yeah, so this is uh, tasting notes, I was told, of espresso, coffee, chocolate, but it's obviously a stout. So think of it like a Guinness with coffee undertones. Yes. Um, well, and Guinness itself even has coffee. And we have like Hershey Guinness in I Pennsylvania. Love that. Yes. We yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Pennsylvania, uh, Hershey Park, like Hershey Chocolate Company, is Pennsylvanian. Uh, a lot of people yes. don't seem to know that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, Where do they think it is? I don't know. I, mo I feel like most people just didn't ask. Oh, they just said Hershey. It's and so I'm not going to lie, that pour is disgraceful. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> Tilt the glass a little more. Oh, now. trust me. Oh, look, look I love the settle, though. Look at it. Exactly. Oh, it's, oh, it's here. here. We can zoom in on it. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Take it over to over. them. Trust me. As anybody who pours a Guinness knows, you don't fill it all the way at first. You so, fill it to a certain extent, and you let you it You can see that. This is where the river works. But uh, <laughs> you can see it's settling. There's obviously not good lighting over here, but... Go on to the... Yeah, there you go. There you it's go. not as good. Though. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Also, to be fair, I think this thing had a lot of head because no, no head. head. We gotta wait for it to head. <laughs> we don't. We don't know all the so, head. So no head. No head. I, I'm a head out. <laughs> what anyway. are we live on? Are we live on YouTube. Yes. That's yes. oh, sweet. So we'll let that sit a little bit, and then so do you want it to be a true? Go for it. Wonderful. So do you use the do you use the jigger. <laughs> okay, dude. 
Like a proper man. Oh, this is great. Proper man is fucking. <laughs> anyway, you're getting real bartender would have just lined <laughs> yes. him up and knocked him down. Correct. All right, we're gonna do a full guy of that. <laughs> Dude, I had got a, the shit. I had a very tough workout earlier today. <laughs> I literally almost yacked. It was horrible. Woo. Also, so, just because it's Pennsylvania, we're not actually using them for anything, but we've got a six-pack of Yangling in the back. Yes. Because, oh, uh, shit. We'll be drinking that later. You actually yeah. can't get this west of the Mississippi. What? Yeah. I don't know if they've changed that recently, but... How dare them? Well, you also can't get Rainier east of the Mississippi, so... Right. Exactly. Well, next time I go to California, I'm going to ask for Yingling and see and what see if they say. give it to you. I mean, in California, they're probably going to be like, yo, don't you mean a hazy IPA? <laughs> It's yeah, like that all the way up the West Coast. Though. They probably have their own. There are a lot of good craft beers. I think California's can stomach uh, full a of like beer. Let's not talk too much crap on Californians, as one of them might pop in. I don't oh, think don't that they disagree with us. <laughs> also, uh, Aiden, you want to read that uh, comment from Captain Alien? Sure, Captain yeah. Alien for a whole lot of money. Thank you, my guy. Says, uh, recoup for your liquor expenses. I just can't order wow. any because I'm not home often to sign for it. Big sad. Well,. We will see about finding a way to make that work for you. Yeah. Um, we'll help out, as we should. But, uh... All right, I'll take the big, big head guy. Sad. Uh, so my recommendation for these is, uh, don't drop it as most people do, because it will splash quite yes. a bit. Yes, slower it in there. Yes, uh, well, no, just dump it. Oh, okay. And then, uh, you chuck it. This is cheating. This it is, is kind of cheating, is, but... This is not a drink, you sip. This here, is give, give it a nice, uh, a nice tall pour. Ready? Ready? Right. Oh. Slotch it. Slotch it. Cheers. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that was good. And that's the Archer Bomb. The Archer Bomb? I'm <laughs> uh, sad we don't have Archie here to celebrate with. Oh, uh, yeah, I was hoping we'd be in here. My parents had him for the weekend. Mm -hmm. My little sister sent back to school tomorrow. As you can tell by my chugging speed, I did not attend a state college. I also didn't attend a state college. I just have a lot of alcoholic friends. And you came up a few times when I was there. Correct. Well, he had the stereotypical, like, two chug and it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Again, state school. Yeah, that's what I said. Yep. We are. Sponsored by Penn State. <laughs> no, not sponsored by Penn State. Penn State honestly charged me way more money than they had any right to. Mm -hmm. Still in debt by Penn State. <laughs> Still in debt by Penn State. There we yeah, go. exactly. Like, cool. But that was that was some good shit. That was tasty. What's our meat over here? Is it that salami? meat? Uh, I th I don't think it's a salami actually. I don't know what it is. is it mom, if you're still in there, let me know what the uh, what the meat on this charcuterie board is. Thanks, mom, for the meat. But yeah, um, and I mean that was pretty simple. That was literally just what did you do? Half a it's shot. It's ungodly unfortunate to live in California. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Um, but yeah, so I wait. You want to go over what that was really quick in terms of uh, sure. content? Sorry, I can't think of the word content <laughs> anymore and not think of it as like. The Cards Against Humanity card? The Karchi Bomb! The Karchi Bomb! The Karchi Bomb! Oh, jeez. Watching this is making me want to have a drink. Thanks, Mom. Well, join in! <laughs> Make one of the ones we just made. Well, I don't think they have the Come ingredients, on, but they were right. here earlier. Bring Archie. Yes. I have to thank my mom. She insisted on coming over and cleaning up my kitchen before the show. Um, <laughs> thank you, mom, because I've seen it and it's horrendous. Yeah. Okay, you don't need to. You don't need to put me on blast like that. Well, um, too late. Yeah, it's Wendigo meat. Talk. That's all we need to tell people. There we go. Perfect. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah. it is the flesh of the flesh pedestrian. In the Arch Bomb was the space, space chunk. chunk, which again, it's a coffee stout. Correct. Uh, this lovely bourbon over here and the bourbon cream. He knows more about the ingredients than I do yes. because he bought them. <laughs> These are, I mean, they're pretty simple. We've gone over the bourbon and the bourbon cream. Yeah. Uh, coffee stout, honestly, that is so good. It's good. Like, that was some tasty stuff. And you know how much that was for uh, four pints? How much? Each of these are two pints. I got another one in there. Mm -hmm. It's 24 bucks. So if you're old fashioned, you put both bitters in there? Yes. Old fashioned, you use your aromatic bitters. And then this one, I kind of just match to whatever the rest of the flavor profile is. So a normal old fashioned, they would put just cherry juice. So you do the cherry bitters. Uh, no. So a normal old fashioned would be um, aromatic bitters. Okay. And then we got a couple different ones here, but uh, so oh yeah, <laughs> the Luxardo maraschino cherries. Okay. These are expensive. Cherry juice. Um, that's twenty one dollars for a thing of maraschino cherries. Well, they got gold oh, flakes yeah. in there. 
<laughs> exactly. <You'd think. laughs> and then you would, you would put in there with that. <gasps> They're from California. You would put orange bitters in. <laughs> what is with you in California? I was just there on Monday. And, uh, <laughs> and you would garnish with an orange peel. Oh, yes. So, so orange, cherry, and regular bitters. Yes, for a regular old fashioned. Got it. For this, this one was aromatic bitters, cherry bitters, raspberry, blackberry, garnished with an apple, simple syrup. Then you muddle your berries? Yep. Nice. Berries. And you muddle the berries, to be clear, if you want to hand me the, uh, the whiskey yep. down there. It's the brand. Ooh. What I did was I put them in here, and I always do it with a quarter to, or a half to a full shot of the bourbon in here, and you use that to muddle the berries. You can use the water. Mm -hmm. I prefer to use the bourbon because then you get this nice mash that kind of sits there. And by the time you get to the bottom of the drink, you have your little fruit. Nice. Do you it's eat like the bottom? a reward. <laughs> do you actually eat the bottom or do you probably eat it? Mm -hmm. Do you I eat wonder, the bottom? Oh, yeah. They're like it's delicious. soaked in everything. I wonder, I wonder how many people are going to get that reference. <laughs> Anyone on TikTok should get the reference. Yeah, but like at the same point, like... I don't get it. What's, what's the reference? It's like a reward. Uh, you're not gonna. You're I'm gonna have to search TikTok now for whatever that video <laughs> I wonder if anybody heard you of it. Of we'll see on the floor once. We're not mic'd, so I, I, whatever the camera picks up is. Oh no, we're uh, mic'd. We're mic'd. Oh, we're mic'd. Oh, we're mic'd. That's oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, and actually, if you look at the, you can see this is streamlabs. The letters oh. are right there. We can see everything that's oh, yeah. going on. Beautiful. If you have Yangling in California, that's that's new. They didn't do that. They do. Oh, great! I'll be I'll be there next week. It'll be great. Your mom is contemplating your drink as well now. I didn't mind. Just, just Both join Both of your moms should just get together and hang out. And just <laughs> I think they should. Yeah, I don't see why they don't watch the show together at this point. That's a valid point. It's not like, so I think it's just the inconvenience yeah, of being but, like 20 minutes apart. Uh, I will allow you to make the decision here. Do you want this or do you want that? Because we got to finish these before I make more drinks, you know? Do we have more drinks planned? I can make more drinks, but I know I you don't. I like that. It, will you guys be mad at me? If and mom, let me know if mom. I'm not quite home by eleven this evening because I'm not I'm not going back home home today. I'm back at the parents' place Aiden because has I have a curfew. Yeah. Right, so no, no well, no, because he's got a place. I told I told my parents I'd be back by eleven in case they wanted to hang for a bit, things like that. The yeah. snow and the ice and the yeah. So yeah, let me know if that's that'd be okay. But the uh, studio has a couch in case he needs to crash here. So. Yeah. yeah. Aw, these boys are. Like, oh, we love back in college, I hit the imaginary beer phase a few times. Make all the drinks. <laughs> Imaginary beer phase. What is we that? actually can't get wasted on stream. That's yeah. against YouTube's terms of service. Yeah. I have to make it cl abundantly clear right now. Nobody here is drunk at the moment. Oh, um, no, I'm not going to even say. Super sober. But <laughs> drink responsibly. Two of these would probably do it for me. Really? Oh, because yeah. it's so much liquor in there. It's like three or four shots of bourbon. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm part of the reason I'm asking the question if they're going to be upset if I stay the night uh, is because you really want one. Well, partially that, and also partially, I forgot that I like didn't eat a ton today. Mm. <laughs> and I so also, you an hour. so like, yeah, yeah. I just realized that I did a full archer bomb, uh, and That's the right, eleven. That's a, a what do they call it? A car, carch bomb. A carch bomb. Yeah. Something we might be allowed to get actually get drunk on Twitch. I'm not sure what the rules are there. I don't we'll know. See. I don't think they have any guidelines really. Twitch has. I've seen some things. I've seen some <laughs> sketchy stuff on. <laughs> if only we could live stream through about. Patreon. Oh God, I don't know if I want to do that. Direct to Patreon live streams. That fun. just sounds like OnlyFans. Aww. I, I mean, once you guys do, what, <laughs> what what really is the difference between the two platforms? Thanks, I think the Patreon doesn't allow nudity. The implication. <laughs> yeah, because of the implication. Because of the implication. Because of the implication. I don't know. We know. We know. We this know. This is better that. than egg okay. I'm very convinced that this is something I need. Kaylin Kennedy, thank you for for that. Uh, I don't think you said anything. Is it Kaylin or Callan? I don't know. I'm gonna say Callan. I can't see what gender the person is. I'm not going Tell off of gender. I'm going off of the way it's pronounced. True. Supposedly. Kaylin or Callan? Uh, I did not see the clip on Discord. I don't know when it went up. So, uh, Aiden, Aiden. Uh, no pool now. Pool. Uh, maybe we'll see. <laughs> You're going to the pool tomorrow? No, no, no. no. We pool like to kill your face. Okay, you that's why. Play pool if you're a little. Well, but that's why I said by, back by eleven so I can play pool with my dad. Aww. But if we're having this, but then... those are good family moments that you might, you know. No doubt. Yeah. But we can also have those good family moments tomorrow. That's true. It's true. Yeah. It'll be snowy tomorrow. Also. Yeah. And I'm likely, I'm likely going to stay okay. through Monday. Just He's going to be here all day tomorrow. Oh my gosh, they already wrote, so that was what the quote was on Discord. Don't get drunk on stream. Although, Although getting drunk on stream is not banned on Twitch. Being drunk while you sleep may be, may be you doing something you will regret. 
I uh, no. So yeah, on YouTube you're allowed to drink. Um, it will not demonetize you. Um, but oh, it is Caitlin. Um, oh yeah, you're right. Oh, uh, Mom, I'm sorry. Aiden, you want to grab that flower arrangement? Yeah. So, oh my gosh, I googled it. I think yeah. you can get drunk on Twitch. So this is uh, my mother made this. My mother is a very gifted florist. No, she did not go to school for that. She went to school for sociology. Um, how she ended up being able to make flower arrangements, I don't know. Well, it's, the, gonna, it's the innate I, I'm, talent. I'm going to be honest, Mom. This is one of your pretty basic ones, and it's still beautiful. But uh, for it, basic, it's very beautiful. Yeah. Um, and his point being is that my point way being more is that this is like. This. Tell me what these flowers are, Mom, because I'm serious. They're, they're I have no like idea what any of roses, are. but they're not. They have extra. I feel like it's like something fancy, like a gardenia or something. Tell I Google think you can get drunk on Twitch. <laughs> yes. Christian says, "Don't forget it's daylight savings tonight." I. <gasps> no, it's not really. Yeah, thank God. It's Christian's yeah. my stepdad, by the way. He and my mother it's are both logged into days. YouTube watching right now, commenting separately. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Oh Everything's gosh, gonna... guys, it's, this is the extra bar night. This is the night we get an extra hour. I keep looking here like it's here, it's there. We get an extra hour. Do we actually? I think so. I think like when it strikes to... Does anybody want of... an extra hour at Molly's? Right. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> That's why they shut it down at 1.50 or whatever and kick everyone out so that they don't get their extra hour. The last thing I want is an extra hour at Molly's. Well, we don't go to Molly's, we go to PJ's. No, on yeah. Saturdays we go to Molly's. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Why? I don't go to Molly's. Uh, I don't know. I, you so know what? I blame Caitlyn. Oh, wait. Caitlyn number three. <laughs> to be fair. To be Black fair. Black hair tattooed Caitlyn. However, it is Irish. It is an Irish pub. You didn't meet that one. I was going to say, yeah. Irish yeah, you never met that Caitlyn. Uh, yeah, I think part of the reason that Molly's would exist this evening is because St. Patty's Day. I'm in my green. I got it. Oh, they are roses. You like your green, too? Look at it. Where's your green, bro? This is green? That's yeah, green. I wasn't I wasn't. Oh, that's right. I'm not that, I'm not that colorblind. Oh, my um, gosh. But, yeah, I mean, they I do have to think. I do have to thank roses. my mother. My green is this. Your mom said they are roses. Yes. Yes. I do have to thank my mother. I mean, you know, she brought us the charcuterie. She brought us the. <laughs> she brought us the floral arrangement. Um, Just hooking us up. The reason right. this room is so clean right now is her. Uh, she and my stepdad actually took that desk. That desk was over there and they moved it here. You have to teach him how um, to do it himself now. I know <laughs> how to do it. I simply don't. Simply lazy. <laughs> That'll do it. But yes, um, uh, is my point proven yet? Yeah. But, as I was saying, if you do live in southeastern Pennsylvania, uh, the Philadelphia area, and you have any reason for floral arrangements, studioflora.mainline.com. And I designed the website, so... Do you have any idea why there's batch And the website's numbers? getting redesigned. Why there's batch this numbers? This is batch number seven. Because they're small batch. Oh, so this is literally like batch number seven. Yeah, that's batch number seven of that. I think it'd be a bit of a lie that, if they wrote it, it on there. Honestly? Wait, wait mean, you know, honestly... That's amazing. Uh, Christian, if you're still watching, that probably explains why we haven't seen this before. If this is batch number seven, this is new. It's very probably new. only been around for like a year. So yeah. what, were you um, just in the liquor store just looking for... So what I did today, for anyone who's curious, uh, curious. so this might be a little different from your, your liquor store, depending on your state. Pennsylvania is weird. We have no gun laws and all the liquor laws. Um, I, I, I guarantee somebody made a deal at some point. To be fair, they were to be talking fair. about ammo prices somewhere else. If you're gonna, if if you're gonna have no of the one, you really need one of the other. That's <laughs> true. Like, yeah. I'm telling you, man, we gotta start the ATF, the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Club. Club? <laughs> yes. I you go, it. you I shoot firearms it. and smoke cigars. And then you go and drink and smoke it's like cigars. A gun club, you keep them separate, though. Yes, but you, you have to do it in that order. You cannot yes. drink and then shoot. You have to shoot and then drink. Yes. That's um, impossible, Jules. What's impossible? What did I say? It's uh, so I good. don't know what you said. Oh! What's so good? What is so good? What is I don't so know. Good? Maybe this? Did you finish that? Yeah, it's great. Good it's good amazing. Morning. Just like 10 out of 10 for anyone who is wondering. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to posting these recipes. Yeah, yes. it's going to be fun. I will be making these quite frequently. And you know what's going to be great? We're going to post these recipes, and there's not going to be some five-paragraph essay of a backstory. No, it's just the recipe. It's just going to be the recipe, so there's no reading through all that. But you will uh, know that it's batch number seven, because that's very important. But yes. Uh, Yours may not be batch number seven. Very happy about batch number seven. But yes, um, we uh, when I, I went to the liquor store, and I basically had a shopping list. I was like, I need bourbon cream, I need bourbon. Um, and I need a third thing. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get. Uh, I was thinking I was gonna get moonshine and do something with that. And then I was like, ah, oh, no, I'll just use the burning cream and I'll go to Root Down. I actually, I was at the liquor store and I called Root Down. Mm. Oh. I was like, hey, do you have any, um, any stouts? And they said they had a couple. They had one that's draft, that's uh, nitro. 
so they couldn't mm. couldn't do to go. But and then they said, and then we've got a milk stout that I uh, we can do to go. And I was like, well, can you give me the tasting notes because I'm a thorough person. Yeah. <laughs> um, so well, I you're, like, well, you're big into mixology. So. Oh yeah, I wasn't. And, and part of this comes from the barista training. Yeah. Like the the thing is like, bartender and barista don't necessarily cross over. It's like two sides. But of the it's same the kind point. of thing where like if you know how to do one, you know the best practices for the other. Yeah. So you know that you want to get tasting notes for all the things you're using before you go and you actually make it. Yes. So I was like, can you can you give me the tasting notes? And this is I think why I didn't get carded a single time today. Um, <laughs> it's because because yeah. I went up to the register with local bourbon. Yeah. Um. A Pennsylvania bourbon cream, uh, a jar of maraschino cherries, and a thing of simple syrup. I don't think anybody at the liquor store was like, you know what? So, guys. That's a college kid who doesn't know what he's doing. They were yeah. like, this is a very young looking gentleman who for some reason knows what he's doing. Mango Creek. Yeah. Do you know where that is? Mango Creek. We are within 10 minutes of Mango Creek. Really? So, yes, Mango, Mango Creek Society. Society members placed Liberty Poles along roads and town centers to protest the 1791 federal excise tax on whiskey. Located on the National Road using locally sourced heritage grains, we honor the tradition of those spirited farmers. They're talking about the whiskey re- they're talking about the whiskey revolt. But apparently Mingo Creek has been part of it. Well we might have to do an episode on Mingo that. We should. Early early American rebellions against the new constitutional government. That's right. Yeah, the uh, Shays Rebellion, the Whiskey Revolt. Um, I, we haven't talked about it, but uh, we have the, today. one of the ones I love talking about, the uh, Pennamite Connecticut Wars were a series of three wars fought between Pennsylvania and Connecticut. What? Between Connecticut did not mean wars. Prior, prior to the founding of the United States, okay. under its current constitutional government, so seventeen something, and up until uh, the seventeen nineties. No, uh, before seventeen eighty seven. Okay, okay. okay. I was say? I believe it was seventeen sixty eight. I believe it was seventeen sixty eight. The first one, and I believe the last one was I think in like seventeen ninety seven. But uh, what happened was when um, Pennsylvania was chartered mm. to William Penn, he was essentially granted whatever in this region. Um, and there's the, I don't know how apocryphal it is, but there's a story of William Penn being told by the natives he could have as much land in Pennsylvania as he could cover in one day. So what he did was he set up stops, supposedly. Mm-hmm. I don't know how true this story is, yes. but the legend goes that he set up uh, stops at, I think, like 20 mile intervals or something and had a rider ride to one stop, oh. hop on another horse, They didn't go say to the next you stop. by yourself can yeah. travel, it's just and as suppo- far as, oh, yeah. huh? Supposedly, they made it all the way to where the current border of Ohio and Pennsylvania is. And that's where we um, And Ohio wasn't, it was, was a territory for other reasons, but. We love the polls. So here's I the love thing. It. It's great, Pennsylvania forever. New York, oh, yes. New York was granted Oh, all no, the I, land. I, I really enjoyed Boston when I was there yeah. this week. So. New, New York was granted I all the land. California, that's why we're having these conversations. Valid, valid. Explore your country. Anyway, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> New York was granted all the land north of Pennsylvania. So why did Connecticut have a, a Con- So here's the thing. So yeah. New York, New, sorry, New York claimed all the land north of Pennsylvania mm. up to the where the Pennsylvania border is with Lake Erie. Yep. Um, Connecticut, their charter conflicted and was given to them later than Mm -hmm. the Pennsylvania Charter. Mm -hmm. And Connecticut was granted basically their their vertical, Mm -hmm. their north-south barriers, and then anything west. Connecticut Mm -hmm. could never be in a war. There's like nobody there. No, (laughs) exactly. Anybody in Connecticut is wearing vineyard vines saying, I'm not touching that. So yeah, so (laughs) Connecticut basically was like, hey, actually, we haven't claimed all that stuff west of Connecticut, which included uh, as far south as Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, which really? you might know better as... Uh, Wilkes-Barre. That is Wil- Wilkes-Barre. Wil- it's Wilkes-Barre. No, it from is Wilkes-Barre. from Wilkes-Barre. We well, Wilkes-Barre. it's Wilkes-Barre. Um, I'm going to split the difference. I was born in the Poconos. It's Wilkes-Barre. I'm the gonna, point I'm of the matter is, it's very close to where the office is supposed to be. I'm, I'm going to split the difference. Scranton, I'm going yeah, to split the difference and say Wilkes Bar to Wilkes- piss <laughs> everyone off. I think it's like Scranton's here and Wilkes Barre's here, Wilkes-Barre. like Wilkes-Barre. they're like next to each other. Wilkes Barre. Wilkes Barre. Wilkes Barre. It's French. Yeah. We're doing dance now. Milkberry. Well, beret is like a type of like dance. We drove by there a few weeks ago. Uh, our way to Centralia. Yes. On the way to or from? On the way to. But yeah, so uh, this is slowly but, evolving into chaos. Yeah, so I mean, we knew that was going to happen. Yeah. So Connecticut, Connecticut was granted uh, 
by their charter, all of the land west of the southern border of Connecticut. Mm-hmm. And um, what they essentially did was they sent settlers to settle in, to found Wilkes-Barre. Um, they founded that territory. They, that, that, that city was a Connecticut settlement mm-hmm. in Pennsylvania claim territory. So Scranton was not. Scranton, Scranton was Pennsylvania. Was yeah. And, Hazleton. Yeah, and they were like, Wilkes-Barre. That's... Well, it explains the dumb name. Yeah. Um, Excuse you, Wilkes-Barre. I'm happily excused. so. So, point is, I need more. there I were need a series of three. <laughs> there were a series of I'm glad three wars. Three wars, three wars fought between Pennsylvania and Connecticut. I love it. From 1768 through, I believe, 1797. I love it. There was a total of like three casualties on the Pennsylvania side. I have a follow up question. Sure. What's up with Pennsylvania's chimney? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eerie? Yes. And just like little, little. Why did we get that? Guy. I don't know. We're gonna have to look it up. I don't have all the answers. Why do we? Have I just have some of the we answers. We just have enough of them. Nobody will ever have all the answers, but because we can try. Because we weren't okay with a rectangle state, so we need. And of course, listen. Extension. As we know, we were worried about becoming Wyoming, which huh. doesn't exist apparently. Ohio is an illegitimate state. Ohio. <laughs> There's nothing in exist. Ohio. Oh no! no. I, I will say um, my favorite meme is, meme is. It's all. It's all Ohio. Is it Cincinnati? It's always been. <laughs> is Cincinnati their their capital? I don't think Ohio uh, has a capital. Well, how Ohio isn't a real states. place. How can, Cleveland. Some, it's Cleveland, how can Ohio. something that doesn't exist have a capital? Wait, Ohio is Cincinnati. better described as West Pittsburgh. Is it is Ohio. also in Ohio. Is it? Okay. Yes. yes. Cleveland, Cincinnati, they Columbus. Have Columbus. Why do they all see names? I don't know. Well, there's also, what's the horrible town in, in Ohio? All of them. Flint? No, no, that's, not, that's, that's Michigan. That's Michigan. That's Michigan. <laughs> that, but that is a horrible Sorry, town, apparently. No, no, no. There's something really bad in Ohio. Akron? That's it. That's it. <laughs> the Akron. rubber capital of the world. I have heard good things about Akron. Like, like that it's the rubber capital I, of the world. I'm going to call you a liar on that because I can't oh, imagine right. anybody's heard anything good about Akron, Akron Ohio. Ohio. They have, um... Your mom's having a glass of wine. See? Get after it, Mom. Good job. I think our moms are planning... Could, have you ever been, like, told that you're the Thornberries? Like, has anyone ever... Yes, no, my nickname in high school by some people. What is my mother saying? Because this is... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. As long as it wasn't Donnie. That's okay. Yeah, as long as you're... Yeah. Yeah. I was... Oh, my mom is in, in is, is encouraging... Uh... Scranton! He said it's pronounced Wilkes-Barre! Told you! I told you! Wilkes-Barre, not Wilkes-Barre. Wilkes-Barre. I don't... Thank why you. would you know that? Because I'm from the Poconos. Oh, I thought you were from Where in the Poconos? I was born in Weatherly, PA. Which is I a small little town outside of Hazleton, and he's from that? Scranton, so he will know. I'm sorry. David but... Chapman, we love you. How was that? Wait, David Chapman? Did you grow up there? Yeah, my whole family lives up there. Well, not my whole family, but I have a lot of family everywhere. And how was that? Stop you talking about a fake state. Ohio is a fake oh. word. <laughs> Ohio doesn't exist. Right? Again, Ohio is more properly West Pittsburgh. Have you been to Ohio? Yes. Horrible. I've been to uh, our, our friend Lexi. Who you've actually never met in person. It is pronounced no. but, uh, Our friend, I she's coming to visit. Oh, really? Yeah, Thank she's you. gonna stay here. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, she's from Ohio, and she took me on a tour of Columbus, and it was terrible. It was like Westchester. So that's yeah. their capital. What's mm-hmm. their capital? I, I think it's Columbus. Columbus. Okay, and then Cleveland and is the, where they're. Columbus. Yeah. Columbus is also the location of the Ohio State University, which, as everyone should know, is garbage. The Buckeyes. <laughs> Buckeye Snap was great back in 2014. Right, I'm gonna try and do it myself. Are you ready? You wanna try and do it I think yourself? Knoxville's the capital like of Tennessee. My viscosity. Let's see. You, you're gonna want this. Okay. Is Knoxville or Nashville the capital of Tennessee? I think it's Knoxville. I feel like it's Knoxville. I think it's Knoxville. Uh, I believe so, yeah, because Nashville's just their music city. Yeah. I'm like, my, I, the urge to move to Nashville grows stronger Bonsale! every day. Bonsdale! What's up? Yeah. Bonsdale, it's uh, honestly once you get. I know where Honesdale is. We know where Honesdale is. Oh, I very much know where Honesdale is. We actually, I, we wrote a movie that takes place Wait in Wait a second. Honesdale. David Chapman, you're from Honesdale? Dude, we are getting together so, and having some scarfalados. So, okay. That's all I know. We have to do it. Honesdale I'll Hornets, baby. We'll Get after that. Here. Okay, so here's the jigger. We're gonna, we're gonna Love it. mix it with the Well, actually, things. I mean, you don't really even believe it yet, but yeah. two full jiggers worth. Wait, I have a fun history fact about Honesdale. Sure. That's, it was that's too much. Cool. Honesdale was home to the first railroad in America. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Also, other things about Pennsylvania. First railroad in America. First, first oil well. The biggest uh, railroad coal mines, company coal in America. Mines, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Was the capital. First U.S. capital. Was can the we, capital, wait, yes. Can we talk about the bill? I think bill? first and like third U.S. capital. Wait. Yeah, we went back. We yeah. Went back we put can, we, can we please 
in this context because it's most appropriate. And Talk most about the receipt from the bill in which the Founding Fathers oh, celebrated the signing of the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> it was like 57 bottles of whiskey. It was casks. It was casks? It was casks. When, when we talk about drinking being America's pastime, it yes, started sir. with the people who made it. Amen. It was casks of wine and whiskey. The amount of beer and well, ale consumed came from is uncounted. And like 90% of that was drinks. Benjamin Franklin. Have you, ever met, have you ever met an English person? Unfortunately. Yes. They I studied abroad in London. A perhaps, lot. So okay, so they drink. Yes. More than Irish people get a, a reputation for drinking. Irish no. people do not drink nearly as much exactly. as they are reputed to. Have you been to Ireland? No, so here's what I was explaining to me by an Irish person. Ready? Yes. So they legally, their shots, mm -hmm. legally a single shot, mm -hmm. is That's like big. half the size of yes. what our single shot of really? liquor is. They still get drunk. It's not True. Big. But yeah, it's like 25 milliliters. All right, guys. Whoa! I told you, the viscosity is what very is high. It's like jelly. That's borderline. That's why I said mix it in here, but you didn't listen to me. That is, that's plasma. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so uh, apparently the Irish tend, like, if, if an Irish person is like, oh, I had 20 drinks last night, that's, that's more Scottish. Horrible. That's more that's Scottish. Scottish, yeah. Um, so, so more like, oh, I had drunk no, 20 I'm drinks met. last night. How about yeah, you Yeah, exactly. I met, so I went to McGilligan's in Philly. Did you watch I a, a very genuine that, Irish man. God, what was it? McGilligan's? McGilligan's or McGillan's? McGillan's. 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 Yeah, no. it, it's a no, really McGillan great little corner yeah, bar. Yeah. It used to be in Wayne. Great in Center City. Oh, we, we've been there many times. It's beautiful. I love it. And the guy I met there, he was awesome. And he was talking about how all these people in the U.S. Did you put your spices in? I think so. So, oh, I didn't put my nutmeg. My nutmeg. So, wait, we need my... No. Where's the nutmeg? Cinnamon sugar. Nutmeg. There's the nutmeg. Nutmeg's nutmeg. nutmeg. level one. Okay. A little nutmeg. And then, like, just like a... Beautiful. Okay. So, what do you do now? Mix it. Oh boy. I put ground cinnamon sugar in there too. Absolutely. I like sugar. Anything that's just sugar. A, there's a little splish. There you go. Splish splash and I'm taking, taking a bath. bath. Oh. I'm glad you got that. <laughs> Jules and I are starting a band together. Yes. Yeah, Shane was plugged real quick. I do music, Jules Marianne and everything. I'm sorry, where's my invite? <laughs> sorry, I have been play. trying to get a second guitarist. You play guitar? Yes. Absolutely. My exact yeah. conversation with Johnny was, hey, we should really have two guitarists so That's I can play rhythm. Because he's got confidence in his own... And no, 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 no. What happened was Johnny was like, no, we should really only be a four-piece. Like, it's really hard to sell a five-piece. It's expensive. And then I come yeah, back later that play. night, and he's added jewels. I'm like, well, all right, listen, I feel like I was lying. Are you Jeez. vocals or instruments? No, she's... No. And nice. keys. She's actually nice. keys. She and I are both instrument. Carly is the vocalist. Really? Yeah, we're both. That's not what I was talking. We're both back. But, oh, well, I don't. Oh, well, I would not be shocked happening. if you and Carly like switched off on stuff. Is there I was gonna say our voices, both their voices are, are different. Johnny is the bassist, and who's the drummer? So Another that's Johnny, what, right? what I was gonna say is I have a feeling this is not gonna come to fruition. So don't say that. Are we gonna start our own? So we're gonna start our own. Let's go. We're gonna start our own because this is what happens. People have lots this of schedules, a, especially as a musician, like full time. Right you yeah, end up. Why? Saying you want to start. I need something an excuse to practice even more than I do. This is why so, we need to buy a house. So we have a basement with a drum set. Yes. If you can play guitar, you can play again. It's just how. So if I, any of you know any wealthy benefactors, we're trying to buy a house. Um, well, I mean, he can do it. Do you have ten thousand dollars in savings? Jules going on everything. Okay. I what? Plug. Jules. <laughs> You'll be able to accrue. Are you, I'm sorry, have you been complaining Jules to me about money for off. six months? It's, I will elaborate later. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. Start a I will elaborate I have later. been living paycheck to paycheck. Now. So have I. <laughs> I didn't have paychecks for the last oh six months. I now have a job. Kaylin, you have a studio. I'm going to find you. Kaylin has a studio <laughs> in North Carolina. I'm going to find you. Well, I know somebody with a studio that lives up the block from me. I, we know studios all over the place, but North Carolina, and it's a, it's a VR. Oh, I was there last week. Me too. I was just there on my layover. Well, I had, nice. Yeah, I was in Raleigh for four days. Mine, I was, uh, what's our capital? Charlotte. Charlotte? I yeah. was in Charlotte on a layover. They have a really nice airport. Their airport is beautiful. Ooh. That's all I saw. Uh, what kind of music would it be? A little bit of What do you thing. think? Hop, hop, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but here's the thing. I don't want to be in like five cover bands at once. I'm in one yeah. cover band, I'm in one original band, and then I have my own music. So mm -hmm. I don't want to be, because I have 
them asking me to be in them, but then I also have like three other bands. Let's do original shit. Let's do original shit. Like, I'm we done. can write. Like, we are. He's good written at already. I've written. I've written. I have and very we've bad already. At writing music. Grammys next year just saying. I also, this is, you guys are watching a, like, a, we should, we should, we should own a bar. We should own a bar. Happy wait, 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 I'm sorry. If we own the bar, you can we be can the bartender. Be the bar. Maybe we should own a bar. The, we should yeah, own a bar. He could be the bartender yes. and. And the bar's play. name, the bar's name. When does Puzzles. <laughs> or, just, or just, or just Aiden's place. The when does, oh, the Aiden's, oh, Aiden's place. Aiden's like, uh, fucking. Aiden's place. What's his face up in, uh, Elk? Chet's place. Oh, God. No, but yes. <laughs> we start a bar and the only drink is bourbon. Wait, literally. So I can't what? understand any confusion in that. There's no confusion in that Do you conversation. Do you have a practice space that can include a drummer? We will figure that out. Exactly. Well, well it's, it's all funny, a drummer. Well, yeah, we just need a drummer. There's it's, no berry. It's just when someone says berry, I'm like, no, thank you. There's berry right here. There's actually a seven one for me. We can work on finding a drummer. Oh, no, I we have one. Two. The Don't problem know. is. Isn't he very busy? Yeah, I'm also very busy. I'm very busy. Who's gonna play bass? We're all very busy. We're adults. We're very busy. Yeah. Who's gonna play bass? You. I don't play. I play guitar. Honestly, I'd be better at bass than lead guitar. That's exactly. You said you wanted to play the bass, bass anyway. Four strings, and as long as you can feel a funky vibe, you can play it. I promise you. There we go. And yeah, you, I guess you I certainly guess, know how to. If play I'm not in charge of lead vocals, I, I got it. I can definitely play, play bass. There you go. Over half a million streams on Spotify. I think I got it. We are approaching. <laughs> I think half a million views on YouTube. Woo! Yeah, we are. We are. Um, which is pretty, pretty freaking oh, cool. We love you, Oh my God! Oh, Captain Alien, you're a very kind man. We love Thank you, you long time too. Can Much you do that for We're gonna, me? we're gonna have to find a. Uh, if we ever make it out to California, we'll take you out for a drink. I promise. Oh my gosh, I'll be in California in two weeks. Well, we won't. Okay, what is yeah. with you in California? I just went there for the first time, and now I'm in love in California. She accidentally got her ticket report. refunded. I did. Yeah. Shut up. I got my money back for my ticket. Don't tell anybody from American Airlines, but we're just gonna take that. I got a I'm random more, wire I'm more transfer. Of an Oregon guy, but fair enough. I got a random wire I'm transfer for six hundred and twelve dollars into my bank account Would recently. You like to give it to me? I was like, where did this come from? And I'm like looking through everything. It's from oh, the yeah, deposit yeah, yeah. I'll be your that I put down okay. on my apartment in Wales. Yep. That obviously I am not oh. using. And they Is just gave mom? me the deposit just back. Christine, your mom. Thank you, Captain Miller, for supporting these young men. They work so hard. Aw, oh, yes, Mom. Thank Is that you. Your mom? That's my mommy. Yeah. I'll be your bouncer. I think I can be I, I can be the bouncer. No, he's No, you're the bartender. Uh, for, I can do both. specifically for me, I'm gonna act <laughs> yeah, like is You'll be I too busy like speech. chopping each other. That's saying that's my bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> Some somebody's yeah, uh, somebody screwed around or just like hey, hey, you know, 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 like this isn't me. This isn't even the alcohol talking. This I'm is aware. As a this is the problem. This is why we're not at that active in the Discord. Your moms yeah. are Just because when we are, it's a bad time. Like yeah, they're having a great time. Your moms are adorable. That, is there a website for the flowers? Yes, we need the website. Right? Yes, studioflora.mainline.com. How long are we? Uh, studioflora.mainline.com. We have been live. I do not have a plan for that. Yeah, yeah, we've been live for exactly one hour, twelve minutes, and thirty-five oh. seconds. We do. Well, then I was late. We, yes, you were. <laughs> we usually do an hour and a half. Is that a safe? You That's true. Thank yeah. you to the snow yeah. for that. Yeah. And I mean, if, if here's the thing, like obviously we have the show again tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's probably hour. think of something. Anytime about. you need an extra oh. video. Well, we're gonna video like four different videos. Yeah, we've got so. we've got a number. We are doing so much tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a busy day over here. Uh, What's it's gonna the be busy day at the Laura Lodge. Uh, the Laura Lodge is filming videos on at the very least Roanoke, and I have a series of other things. I don't. I haven't decided exactly what I want to do yet. We need to do one history hut at least. Yes. Um, and we need what to happened to the Persia stuff? I have no idea. It just disappeared. <gasps> Caleb, really did you say you are in North Carolina? I hope he says yes. Jules, I will be your personal bodyguard, don't worry. Yay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, see, this is like when y'all are active on the Discord, it gets wild. See, here's what happened. I'm not going to talk about it. I, yeah, yeah, I was just about to stop you. <laughs> I, I need to come into the Lord Lodge. Oh my gosh, you guys have your own Discord? Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course it's do. actually pretty big. It's almost, um, we're we're catching up to a thousand people. We are. Yeah. All, all I will say to prevent anything from being said that shouldn't be said. Aiden's um, Wording. Wording was poor. We have a men's self care. Part of the uh, of the the Discord, and we it's could have named well, it better. It's 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 self care for anybody. Self, but it's you know no no no. It's a perfect name. 
It is oh the my gosh! It is the traditional. Your mom. Aw, oh, mom. Oh, Answer you. some people's questions. What are the questions? <laughs> All right, we well, my mother, my mother just I paid for your questions to be answered, I'm so send really the questions. Sorry. There's like no... Resend questions. your questions, because we haven't seen them, because we're too busy trying to put together Talk a band. Talk driver usually on the road, but if I'm on I'll wake it out, okay? Uh, yes, yeah, so... the most was, ADD um, podcast we've ever yes, done. Yes, the Aiden's mom should have their own... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they just have their own episode on Mother's Day. That would be a beautiful episode. You actually Didn't Mother's Day it. already pass? No, it's May, I think, right? I have no idea. Mother's it is May, not your mom. And then Father's Day is in June. Yeah, not it's, with your mom's so in here. What's, what, is the, what is a G word that means you are taking care of yourself? That's what we named the channel. People got upset it because it has a different I meaning, but I'm we don't far, care. I'm going to follow you. Yeah. If you're, from, if you're um, a musician yeah. slash songwriter from East no, North Carolina, then I am now following <laughs> Why? you. Why? That was a compliment. And I'm liking all your stuff. Thank you. Not to you. Why not? Are you trying to tell me something? Maybe. <laughs> I hope this is you, otherwise we're just explaining something. Yeah. <laughs> you think I have this fabulous hair for no reason? Lore moms. They're the lore moms. <laughs> they, I, uh, we can set it up if you guys want to do it. The Wendy moms. I love if it. you guys want to come in and do a podcast in the studio and take over, feel free. For one night, go for it. I think a lot of people would be confused. <laughs> they would love it. They can just come on and do it with us one night. I mean, You yeah. should talk to them about They can give more about us. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh, no. No. I don't think there's Let's like, not. I don't think you guys would like how that would go. They no. would have a lot of stories nope. to tell. Not at all. I don't know what you're talking about. I was an angel. My mom's just going to talk was. about my butt. Was. Yeah. But for the 20 of you that I'm are still that here, feel free to radar. ask questions because they've all been paid for now. So yeah, uh, we, will be, we will be taking any questions. Question. And uh, we will answer them even if I don't actually... If Wait. I don't know the answer, I'll just make one up. Is that what they're seeing? That's so beautiful. Did you I don't usually do that. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people who do that. That's Mother's Day is May and Father's Day is June. Your mom was, see, me and your mom are like, I'm going to meet your mom. You and Who's the president? Matt is stop trying to steal my mans. <laughs> is that your mans? Is that his name? Is that his name? Oh, look Who's at the that. president? Um, Byron. <laughs> what do you want to tell Joe Byron tell right Joe now? now? What's up, hey, baby? baby? Take me out to dinner. Hey, Ariana Grande. Come back to the Coney Island, take a ride on the psych door, I you miss you. Are you, are you hanging? Or are you, I don't know why I that came up so okay, much. It's like just stupid uh, sound I'm gonna bite, but it really Do you want one of these? You need to make another one of these. Is what yeah, you I'll try that. Uh, Mom, uh, just in general, um, don't think I'm going to make it home by 11 just to be safe. Uh, didn't I'll realize how safe. very little I ate, and I'm just it. kind of biting the bullet now. Uh, if Dad's not watching, let him know that I will be joining him for pool either tomorrow night or on Monday at some point. The because I know you mentioned that. And if he stays the night here, I will take him to the G Lodge tomorrow and we'll put him we'll get him filled up with the it's nice It's official, the moms are in. They said it in May for Mother's All right. Day. Mother's Day stream with Mother's the moms. Day stream. Yeah, that works. That would be it wholesome. Yeah, it's wholesome as hell. It is. Yeah, it's great. And we can have one of your mom's flower arrangements on the table. Oh That's my gosh. true. She ha she has to make like a really epic one. Yes. Mom, now you actually have to get all of your products listed for me so that I can put them in the store and we can ship them nationwide since I've given you a nationwide audience. Yep. You gave me life, and now I'm giving you a nationwide audience. I told my mom the same you thing. You gave me life, I'm giving you business. I mean, that's part, that, that, that is what I've been doing for her for a while now. I told that's my mom the same like, thing. I said, Mom, it is weird that, is, that is egregious. Listen, I've never made homemade cinnamon syrup before, so this was a first time in there. That's not it's cinnamon syrup. Thick. That's cinnamon, like, it's thick. hydraulic fluid. Honestly, though, it's pretty tasty. Aw, oh, oh, see? Like People are excited for your moms. Aw. Oh. So excited for the mom. Momcast? The momcast. The momcast. The, mom the lore moms. The lore moms. The lore moms. Also, dude, I sent you the thing. Adam Krigler. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but I know you do. He was, uh, he was uh, Tim Pool's co-host for like a year. Um, he said he would love to have me on the show sometime. I haven't heard from him Let's since. Hear. But uh, Adam, if you happen to watch this show, man, I mean, have me on. Ooh, I need have both of us on. We'll come hang. Yeah, yeah. Right. Are you in your back room right now? Can you like change it to a Sunday or something? Well, no, because it's the Lore Lodge. We talk about horror stories. So like, it's got to be scary looking. Yeah, it's got to be spooky. Um, can you spooky grab one of the glasses the out of the bones. freezer? Bones. 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 Well, bones. bones. Just one of the glasses. Oh, look at you. Can you feel that spooky, scary skin? Send shivers down your spine. Squeaking souls will suck your soul. We can't say more than that. We have to monetize. That was less than 30 seconds. Still can't believe we got demonetized for like. I know. Ugh. For selflessly promoting Jules Marine music? We can do it. No, we, we did a cover of. Uh, we did a few covers on a stream once. 
can do and a jam time on Twitch. Uh, there's only one acoustic here. I I think you can literally just do it. Oh, wait. I have the electric yeah. jam, too. Let's, we, we could do a jam, jam, could do a jam on Twitch. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine to drink and jam on Twitch. Yeah. Drink let's do that. At 9.30, let's shut this off. Oh, we'll do yeah. like a half hour Twitch. It yeah. says, I will buy your mom's flowers. I've been doing some, uh, I've been doing a... Uh, like Matchbox 20 and Lifehouse and all that at karaoke night. Dude, I love dude. Lifehouse so much. Hey, by the way, it's such a good He's so dude, That's literally the one I want to learn. For no There's reason. that, all in. And for uh, what? <laughs> wait, angsty and for what? For why? What is it? Uh, hanging by a moment, Angst. falling in, all wait, in. Yeah. Uh, I did, well, I did, uh, you and me. dude, I did how far we've come. Oh, yeah. Were you there the night? That night? You, I don't think you were there yet. I know that. So I did, I, I did how far we've come. And I'm, I'm just. You have picks, right? I'm gonna have a moment. I'm, yeah. I we can, we can have literally. A wait, no, no. On the jam stream, we're gonna do after this. We can literally do three a.m. Yeah. Okay. Can we please? Um, I except I always screw up the timing. Here's your record. That's fine. We'll shoot. Right. We'll shoot the second. Um, I don't think I know the chords. I do. You can give it to me. Oh, I was gonna say not I'll just, chords. I'll give you the acoustics. Yeah. yeah. But uh. Jam time. No, we're gonna go over to Twitch for jam time, so you better meet us there. Tell me what key it's in, and I'll just play a pentatonic scale. Yeah, there you go. Get it. Dad's watching too. But I'm gonna figure out what key it's in. They said we get your parents. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate that very much. Aww. Yeah, I got him. But yeah, as long as I just trust me, I want to play pool. It's just. I Small underestimated scale. how much I had not eaten today. So yeah. like, but, uh, I, how do I find But it? no, I did how far we've come, and I did not realize... So here's the weird thing. I grew up seeing all of this pop punk and emo stuff, right? Yes. What I didn't realize is that being a natural baritone, that trained my voice in a certain way that now when I sing stuff that actually fits my range, yep. I sound beautiful. Yes. You know, you know who I'm going to want to play. Rob Thomas? No. John Ooh, Mayer. yes. Yeah. yeah. Rob Thomas is great. I love Rob Thomas. Yeah, what else did I do? I did uh, I did Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. Iris. 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 Literally every I screwed up. Word. Even the Egyptian version of that crazy. word is Iris. Iris. Anyway, this I did Iris very at karaoke, video. and uh, Iris. Just like Wilkes Barre. I'm the like you. Iris. Wilkes Bar okay, for the cultured <laughs> members of our society. Um. <laughs> And she's being cut off. I, I slipped. That's I enough for you. I yep. Socks um, on my guys point was, I killed it. There's at least. What? We're not gonna make it to Molly's. I was gonna try and get to Molly's. We're going to Molly's. Are we We're going to Molly's after after, jam, after the jam, after jam time? Jam there's a, there's at least Molly's. ten. It would be songs very already pre-gamed. Yeah. Jam time. No, you did not miss. I your need to oh, learn. I, 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 I can know. see John Mayer with no problem. Let me know when you're in the area. Aww. David Chapman, where's your area? Where's your area? Oh, oh, me. oh yes. Yeah, I mean, we've got it. We here's the thing. Like it, this movie that we wrote was written about a specific plot of land in Homestead. Yes. So, which I've actually never been to. We'll I, I wrote it entirely based off of Aiden's description. Yes. But I uh, yeah. So that I. Uh, that yeah. movie. It's a. Uh, if you've read on on Patreon, we published it, and I've also read it on the YouTube channel. For story time. Yep. Um, and feel free. Uh, I think we'll probably re-record that with voice actors at some point. Next time we're going. Next time I'm going to Scarfalados. I'll let you know. But uh, point is, if you look up, uh, we went camping. Um, if you are a Patreon member, then you get a free copy of it off the bat. Yes. Or if you want to listen to it, it's on YouTube. I should put my bear story on there. Yes. If you want to listen to it, it's on YouTube. We went camping. Uh, I takes place in Honesdale. In fact, I uh, the the movie version of it. Includes scenes that are not in the uh, Bonus story footage. version. Bonus yes. footage. <clears throat> yep. Oh, One of which takes one? place at a diner, in, a real diner in Honesdale. Mm -hmm. well, I, like I don't know if it's Inception. that one. That's, it. That's like the only notable diner. That that is probably one I wrote about. Yes. What's fascinating is I still have not been there, and I wrote like <laughs> I love this is that. this is how you this is how you have to understand my degree. Uh -huh. I have never been to this place. I was able to pretty faithfully write this story to the point where you did not call me out on a single detail. Correct. Um, and I've never been there. I will ask one question, though. What is there an egregious it's amount us. of? It's us. Yeah, it's us. Yeah. What is there an egregious amount of? What is there an egregious amount of? On, on YouTube. Window seat? No. Oh my gosh, stop it. It's a type of building. He is a dosey. I don't if know. You, I don't know if you've met him. Well, so he's Thornton Mussey. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> There's so many churches. I'm not. A, we're neither of us are a dussy. We can't be. No. I'm a tussy. He's Matussie and I'm Thorn Bussy. You're uh. We're going by our last names. Tulsi. I guess you're Tomasi. Ew. Oh yeah. Thomas Sussy. Thomas Sussy. Thomas Sussy. Yeah. Yours works in a few ways. I don't yes. Also, like fun fact. I think we had a conversation about this. We might have relatives That's right, way Thomas. back. He's a Thomas. I'm a, I'm a Thomas. And you're from the Poconos, and the Thomas side of my family is from Scranton. <laughs> that would be my grandfather's family, so we are. All I know is part of my family. Relatives. Possibly. We don't know that for certain. We All don't I, know that. It's I really just don't possible. Like that. Are you Welsh? Oh, God. All I know is part of my family <laughs> fought the revolution, and that's all I care about. Hey, cousin. Hey, that's not cool. Why did that immediately be? Hey, cousin Roman, let's go bowling. Oh, okay, all right. Too many eggnog-looking things. Okay, I've got a lot of cousins. Seriously, this is so good. Oh right. my god. We got six minutes left before we get ready for jam time. Yeah, we're gonna go to jam time on Twitch, so if anybody has a Switch, you better meet us. By the way, that doesn't mean we have to switch computers. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, yeah, we can literally just... Switch on we computer. can literally no. We that. have to switch computers. Oh, we do have to switch. Computers. Yeah. Yes. But that computer has a camera hooked up to it. Has a Yeti hooked up to it. Yeah, we yeah. actually can literally just go in there. What's that say, Captain Alien? I think my level four. Yo, did you get one? Let me know how it is. Aww. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. Um, that's one of the few ones that I think is actually sold recently. Uh, the unqualified sword. I don't advertise at all. I was in the office rearranging shit last mm -hmm. week. Um, uh, my boss comes out, he has a plate. Oh, he came out? <laughs> yeah, it was very nice. No, he, come, he, he comes out of like the, the closet or whatever. I really just... Anyway, he's, he pulls a plate out of the closet. He's like, yeah, we, like, we did a video for... Yeah, and it, he's like, yeah, we did a video for this company and they sent us this. Like, apparently it was an armor company. Was it AR-500? Oh, yes, no, yes. it was Kevlar. It, I think, oh. yeah, I, I'm not sure. It was pretty thin. I think it might have been level like two or three, but it was yeah, it's got to be like level two or yeah. maybe even a one. Yeah, but like they gave us one. It was like, whoa, that's kind of. I did not expect it was cool. That I, my favorite thing is that like I put that up and I like post it on like one of my Snapchat stories. Some of my friends, and there was a select group of people that were like, that is hilarious. And there were a lot of people that were like, I have no idea what this means. Yep, and I was like, then you don't need to. It's you, only for those. You simply don't need it's to. It's the I Y I Y I I K Y. This isn't the content you're looking for. <laughs> this is not the content you're looking for. Dude, if I, you know, I'm you so know. excited. I know, dude. I'm so excited. This is excited. Like the only thing yeah. I care about from Disney at this YK. point, and I saw it. I was like, oh. I Y K Y K. I'm so ready. You guys are so cute. My body, my body is ready. Yep. I'm well, thoroughly excited. Go over excited. Our, co our cocktails again. So it was... One last was, time? Yes. Alright, yeah. So go over everything. What we had, and all of them are gone, because honestly, they were all tasty. And we finished all of them, but uh, what we had was... I hope uh, I can still play guitar. At this and honestly, yeah. the thing is, like... Other than, the, it, this is, other, than, other than the carbon, this is all I don't know theory, I just play by feel. That is That's me. That's literally um, me, I don't read music. Man. Yeah, no, I'm learning. But, uh, it's it's important. Be a member of the I was anyway, I was literally the point is to, to quickly go over yeah, the right, recipes, straight, 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 to go over the recipes, yes, there were three. Listen to my riddles three. Um, anyway, uh, one was, was yes, uh, one was the old fashioned, which I don't, did we get a name for that one? No, was that the, um, name. Was that the something whistle? Wendigo. Yeah, the when what was it? When Wendigo whistle? Wendigo. No, Wendigo. I think it was. I'm gonna scroll. Yeah, scroll for it. But okay, so the old fashioned we made was a mixed berry old fashioned. It's not a traditional old fashioned. What it was was three. Uh, mm, they were each shot and a half. So what's they were? It was a uh, woodland whistle. Woodland whistle. Yeah. Oh, that's a good name, right? That's so it name. was a. It was four and a half shots. Four and a half shots of bourbon. <laughs> we swapped um, spots. You know, that makes a lot of sense. It was four and a half shots of bourbon with uh, uh, three raspberries and three blackberries, a squirt of simple syrup, which you could do uh, equivalent to about a teaspoon, um, uh, three dashes of aromatic bitters, three dashes of cherry bitters, and uh, just a little bit of uh, filtered water or spring water to top it off. And that is the Woodland Whistle. That recipe will be available on our Patreon as well as our website, lorelodge.com, tomorrow. Oh, for still the Woodland Whistle. 
Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, the the Wendigo milk, which um, was the yeah that. The hit. Yes. The better than eggnog, eggnog. That was the better than eggnog benefactor big hit. That's that right. was four ounces of bourbon cream benefactor with. Is such a great word. With. Cinnamon syrup, which I made it myself. So good. If you would like to make the cinnamon syrup the way I made it, uh, it was a little too viscous in my opinion. But yeah, do what it, you want. If and it my, slips off the spoon, it's no yeah. good. So I'm a fan. I like it too. My my cinnamon syrup is 50 milliliters of uh, simple syrup, 50 oh. milliliters of water, and then two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. It's delicious. Excuse me, por favor. Yes, mom. There are four and a half shots in that. Yeah, that's why um, he's the way he is. Right so. Now. Uh, anyway, I anyway, I need the paper towel. Oh, oh my gosh! Thank you very much. Where Four is ounces it? of bourbon cream, a teaspoon of cinnamon syrup, a dash of nutmeg, a dash of cinnamon sugar, and a cinnamon stick, and then you just mix it um, all over ice, of course. And then the final drink was the uh, Archie bomb. I still cannot believe. Cinnamon. No, they said the Karchi bomb. Yeah. The Karchi bomb. The Karchi bomb. Anyway, the car bomb, but yes, which was a half a shot, right? Of bourbon? No, we did two shots. A shot of bourbon. Shot of bourbon. And shot of a bourbon cream. shot of bourbon cream. Yeah. Um, dunked into a glass of coffee stout. It was delicious. It was fantastic. Great. It was wonderful. I had a great time. <laughs> it was Enjoyed a great myself. time. Say we all had a great time. You're gonna. My have mother, a great time. if you look in the chat, is very disappointed at how much alcohol we've consumed. Mom, um, I would like to point out that it was very unintentional. We're having a great time, Mom. I would like and to your point out. Are great. I am perfectly sober right now. No, not. I would like to point out that was a lie. <laughs> yeah, we both fall around. The lie detector test determined. <laughs> two truth wait, two truths and a lie, ready? Cinnamon is tree bark. Aiden is sober, and those flowers are beautiful. Tell me which one's wrong. I think we all All right. Know. Listen. I love these pickles though. Thank you For, so much, Aiden. So Martin. maybe I didn't make it clear enough. Um We are under on no this influence. YouTube stream. All three of us no. are perfectly sober. We're, all no, sober. No, no. We're allowed to be intoxicated, we just can't be uh, wasted. I don't know if that's the truth. We are no, not under the influence of any thing at all. Because of you, I am drinking. You are the reason I drink. <laughs> Look at it, he pours and another I'm shot. Proud of it. He says we have to be sober as I pour another shot. <laughs> well, we're about to get off of this stream and on Twitch, so. Yep. Thank you. Because it is 9.30. Thank you, Mom, for the charcuterie board and the flowers. The These cheese pickles are and amazing. the apples are delicious. Yes. The pickles. I mean, not the Thank you, everybody who tuned in. To. We will have all of these recipes that. uploaded for you Wait, tomorrow. Right Aiden and I are. What is the quote? I can't remember the quote. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. something pickles. in my day is ruined. Uh, something what is it? and pickles. My disappointment is unimaginable. No, 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 no. Immeasurable. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Yes. There we go. That's it. So, anyway, point being, thank you, everybody who tuned in. We will upload all of these recipes tomorrow with our suggested bourbons and, and bourbon no, creams. No paragraphs. Um, just no paragraphs. Recipe. Straight, just a straight recipe. Oh, oh I'm aware. And and most importantly, most importantly, if you liked anything you saw tonight, check out those links in our description um, because we are honestly trying to get sponsorships from these people. Shout out uh, to Root these Down. Companies. They're fantastic. We love them. Shout out to Resurgent. I mean, I, oh, here's the thing. Like, our listen. Magical Liberty Pole. Yeah, oh, we Liberty love Pole. You so much Here, here's the thing. Like, I'm, I've, I've always been a pretty good bartender. Like, that's something that I pride myself on. I got very good at it in college. Mm -hmm. um, but nothing I make would be as good as it is if it weren't for the actual quality of the ingredients we're using. This resurgent bourbon whiskey is so good. A chef is only like, as good as this. Like, on its own, I have it right here. I'm letting it mellow for a second. But I got it right, like, I mean. God, it's so good. Oh my it's god. So good. Like, have you had. You want a sip of this? My phone just jumped out of my hand. You're fine. I'm very excited. No, I wasn't full name. <laughs> she didn't use Aloysius. I'm not in trouble. <laughs> Aloysius. What is Aloysius? In my middle name. So, for those of you who are, who are curious. Why do you have a In terms of tasting in your notes. Mouth? Because it tastes good. In terms of tasting notes. Nose for balance and sweetness with a soft mouthfeel. That's strong. Delicate notes of wildflower, honey, peach, and peppery vanilla can be opened with a splash of pure spring water. All I can say is... Did you, did you not mix this? Fan, there's no water in that. Jam time is going to be talk. really interesting. No! <gasps> How dare you. Listen, fam. Oh my gosh, she's got a standstill. She's got a slight bit of limestone in it. What a shame. It's fracking oh, fluid. It'll be fine. We'll be anyway, all right. my point is... 
This is a phenomenal This moment. jam session is going to fall. Apart. This is going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Get on Twitch right now. Just wait for it. Here. Just hover with your like finger on the button. Wait like, for it. The yeah. mouse right over the button from the live. It's going to be a live. great jam session. I cannot wait to Your mom sing. says you're not sober. Oh, I told her I know. It's okay. I'll make pasta. I was sober when there I There goes my diet. Here. Oh. As if the bourbon cream there wasn't going to screw your diet. Three and a half it inches of snow on the ground. <laughs> We're having a snow night. We're having a good time. We're snow night. Boys, I'm trying. Oh, to watch Christmas movies? Yes, I am please. trying. I never. I got a bad Christmas this year, so we got to. So go. we're gonna make up for that. That's for let sure. him talk about. Let him talk sorry, about. Sorry. Sorry. I'm <laughs> trying to pitch the the drinks we're drinking tonight. It's so, a great time. Thank enough. you guys. I know, great. but we don't. Yeah. Just for the sake of, just please let me do this. I know. I know. I know. I'm so it will sponsor us. Resurgent bourbon whiskey. This is the Young American. It is 104 proof. That is 52% alcohol by volume. It is delicious. Tasting notes: peppery vanilla. We got peach. Um, I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna read the tasting notes off to you. Uh, nose for balance and sweetness with a soft mouthfeel. Delicate notes of wildflower, honey, peach, and peppery vanilla can be opened with a splash of pure spring water. It is phenomenal. It is something you can sip. You can drink it straight. Well, not straight, but I would drink it with ice. Let it mellow for five minutes. That's my recommendation with this. Um, if it is available in your state, which I'm guessing it will be if you're in West Virginia, Ohio, or Pennsylvania, uh, Liberty Pole, bourbon cream, so good. This is 15% alcohol by volume. That means it's 30 proof. It is phenomenal on its own, but if you mix it with a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg, oh Beautiful. my God, it is Make sure you so have the good. cinnamon stick for added. And if you ever happen to be in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, first of all, come say hi. Um, I hang out at PJ's and Molly McGuire's a lot, um, but no, I'm, this I'm is the, the no. Space Chunk. Um, I still don't understand the name, but... We love your names, Root Down. We absolutely but love your names. it is a... It, 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 they call it a milk stout. It's a coffee stout. All of their cans, um, I'll also point out that almost all of their big cans like this, they're all this size, and they stay pretty cold. Also, this is, a, this is a two-pint can. They're big cans and they so, stay pretty cold. This is this is essentially two beers. The Firebird Festival I had gotten it was like an IPA of theirs. And I got this and it stayed cold for three hours. Yeah. So just get it. Just try it. This is this is basically two beers. It's a six point two percent alcohol by volume, which means that it's it's bordering on what wine will do to you. Um, it's really tasty on its own. If you toss some bourbon cream into it, it's phenomenal. Wine's um, only I I I'm gonna be honest, I, I cannot say enough good things about these three liquors. How much is it? I mean, yeah, they were all absolutely fantastic. Yingling's so good. like, what, 6%? Oh, God, Yingling? Oh, uh, we forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, this, in terms of, from somebody who normally drinks scotch, which is usually 35 to 40%, uh, or just, you know, 40, 50%, 40%, 52% is high for a... It dries and dashes from water. No, it is very strong. I will be. I will be. I mean, right. just, this is this is a whiskey you should cut in order to really experience the flavor. That's all. Yeah, cuts it moment. perfectly. Just but, even a splash of spring or filtered yeah, water. It's it just so good. It enhances the flavor. You'd be surprised. Uh, no tap. So yeah, no. We don't want no any limestone in our whiskey. It's it's fracking fluid. Okay. Oh, it's even fracking. better. Let's light the tap on fire. Why don't we? Um, hey, 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 we're not in Michigan. So yeah, uh, you can do that in yeah. Yes. Yeah, actually. You ever seen, have you ever seen Gasland? We don't talk about it. We're not talking about anyway, it. We're This Autumn says Aiden eat food. Recommend you to cut it so that we get the full effect of the flavor. This absolutely fantastic, even better than most of the Baileys I've had, except for a family made recipe, which I can confirm is really good. Yeah, my stepdad makes some very good bourbon yeah. too. And this is basically an American guest, so it's, that's all I have to say. Th here's listen, I, I don't drink a lot of beer. And it's because I don't drink a lot of beer. That's oh, that's right. You're, that, you're mainly yeah. whiskey at this point. It is I, true. I drink, I almost solely drink. Red Bull drink. and vodka, like, every night of his oh, life. Whiskey? <laughs> no, no, no. He's no, all no. in on the I'll trash cans in my Listen, ways. I'll drink a vodka Red Bull if I'm trying to stay awake. Because he's always tired. But always tired. my go-to for liquor is either some form of whiskey or a tequila. Okay. Um, oh. I rarely, 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 rarely drink beer. But oh, this, I, I, I would sit there, I would drink one of these. Not one of these, but I would drink one of one, a, a, a pint of this, and I would I would enjoy every second of it. Ladies and so, gentlemen, I'm having a lot of fun, but we're going to need an intermission. Before yes, we go to there will be an intermission uh, before jam time. Yeah, but if you're still interested in watching later. this live, Definitely head we're going to hop on to Twitch. We're going to do a jam time. It'll probably be like four or five songs. 
but we're gonna hang out for a little bit. Uh, Twitch is the Aiden Mattis. It's the same as TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. And we'll be over there. Uh, you know, you'll recognize it because of all the Lore Lodge branding that's on it. Um, so we'll be over there in probably 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm rough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna drink some water. We're gonna maybe eat some food. More um, charcuterie and more, uh, we're gonna Wendy finish the charcuterie board. Is what we're gonna do. And really shape. quickly, really quickly, before you do anything, I'm um, ready when you're. Yeah, uh, the charcuterie board. I gotta thank my buddy Norman for giving me the Pennsylvania cutting board. Uh, my mom, Chrissy, she's been in the chat all night. She's been phenomenal, uh, and she's also a florist, fantastic artist, truly incredible. If you've ever wondered uh, where I get my creativity from, it is 100% my mother. Um, and again, this is like basic for her. I, uh, she is one of the most incredible artists I've ever met and the way she works with flowers, I don't understand, but I'm always impressed. Um, StudioFloramainline.com. If you are in the Southeastern Pennsylvania area or uh, Delaware or Southern New Jersey, if you have any need for flowers, check that out. And then as for the actual stuff that's on the Shark Coochie board. Yeah. Um, that was all Culinary Harvest. If you look up Culinary Harvest, um, I don't know their exact website, but I will put it in the description tomorrow if I remember to. Um, I'll try but to if you look up Culinary Harvest Philadelphia, you'll probably find it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that is owned by Carlo Luciano. He is not only a phenomenal pizza maker, but he has put together a fantastic small business that has brought together a ton of local artisans in the Philadelphia area to all collaborate on this, essentially what is a uh, weekly subscription box. So if you have any interest in that, if you're in the area, go for that. And if you're ever in Phoenixville, shoot me a message on, uh, uh, Patreon's the only way I'm definitely gonna see it. <laughs> but if you are in the area, shoot me a message over there and we can grab a drink because I would love to have some people come out and hang out. Yeah, it'd be fun. So, All hail Philly local. That said, thank you everyone for stopping by. This was my first Lore Lodge. Yes, it was. I was happy to be the female balance. But <laughs> male. Oh, we sorely need it. Yeah. Anyway, this is Jules. Jules Hi, Marie Music on uh, the internet. This Shameless is Aiden. Party. He is director Aiden on the things he's on. I'm Aiden Mattis, and thanks for stopping by the Lore Lodge. We'll see you tomorrow. See you later.